human beings possess the astonishing ability to transmit ideas to their subconscious through the power of their feelings. In turn, the subconscious becomes a telepathic bridge, allowing ideas to flow from one mind to another without barriers. Your innermost beliefs about others are subtly transmitted, without their conscious knowledge or consent, and are embraced in the depths of their being. This silent influence shapes their behavior towards you, reflecting what you consider to be true about them. If you perceive someone as irritating, that quality will persist in your interactions. However, if you cultivate the conviction that someone is kind and affable, even if others label them as unpleasant or arrogant, you will notice that their interactions with you transform, becoming more positive and harmonious. The subconscious only rejects those ideas about oneself that one would not wish to see realized in others. Everything we desire for our fellow human beings can be internalized by them, and by virtue of the law of belief that governs subjective reasoning, they are compelled to accept it in their inner self and, consequently, manifest it in the outer world. For this reason, it is of vital importance to harbor only benevolent thoughts and noble desires towards our fellow beings. The subjective mind is completely subordinate to suggestion, and ideas infiltrate it when the objective mind is partially immersed in a subjective state, which occurs when the objective senses are attenuated or suspended, as happens moments before we surrender to sleep. Imagination and faith are the only mental faculties essential for shaping objective conditions. Faith, in its purest essence, is subjective and is attained by silencing the active opposition of the individual's objective mind. It is sustained solely by the ability to feel and embrace as true that which the objective senses reject. Neither the passivity of the subject nor their conscious acquiescence to the suggestion are indispensable requirements. Even without their consent or knowledge, they can receive a subjective command that will inexorably manifest on the objective plane. It is a fundamental law of consciousness that, through telepathy, we can establish an immediate communion with another being. The law of thought transmission operates most effectively when we shed the false teachings perpetuated by conventional thinking and begin to view life through the prism of frequency and vibration. Under this new light, understanding and mastery of existence become more accessible and malleable in our favor. We have been instilled with the notion that our thoughts are absolutely private and have no influence on what we attract into our lives. However, when analyzing thoughts from the perspective of frequency and vibration, a different reality is revealed. Firstly, the physical distance that separates us from others becomes relevant due to quantum entanglement. Neville asserts that a friend thousands of miles away is rooted in our consciousness through the fixed ideas we harbor about them. This phenomenon, which Albert Einstein called spooky action at a distance, finds its explanation in quantum physics, where it is observed that entangled particles remain connected. Consequently, actions exerted on one particle have an instantaneous effect on the other, even when vast distances separate them. Although common sense leads us to believe that our thoughts are absolutely private and known only to ourselves, research demonstrates the contrary. There is overwhelming evidence from modern physics in various fields that supports the concept of non-locality. While we do not yet fully understand the limitations and capabilities of thought transmission, we know that it does not require a physical connection between two individuals. Numerous studies have shown that thoughts can be transmitted over great distances, even between people who have never met. There are multiple investigations that have focused on obtaining relevant findings about this subject from the perspective of prayer and purpose, which can be analyzed through the work carried out by various subjects such as link number 2. Your reflections will always generate an equivalent action, except when they are not in a related frequency and resonance. Neville argues that ideas awaken a corresponding state that must materialize. The person will internally manifest that state and remain unaware of the true reason for their behavior. The individual does not have the ability to oppose their subjective and directed notions about themselves, unless the condition you hold as true for them is a condition they cannot desire to be true for another being. In such a case, the idea returns to you, the sender, and will materialize within you in its fundamental essence. The ideas we firmly believe in and consider to be true are simply vibratory frequencies. We can more clearly understand what happens by observing how frequencies interact with each other. When two frequencies are identical, they resonate and intensify each other. 
when two frequencies differ, there will be no resonance at all. For example, when striking a tuning fork next to another tuning fork with the same frequency, the second tuning fork will begin to vibrate. However, when striking a tuning fork next to another with a different frequency, the second tuning fork will not vibrate at all. Similarly, in the case of friendships, when you harbor thoughts that they are spreading rumors about you, keep in mind Neville's assertion, the subject lacks the power to resist your subjective notions and controlled ideas about them, unless the state you affirm is true for them is a state they cannot desire to be true for another. This implies that if you are in a frequency in which they are also immersed, this notion will resonate and manifest within them. Without their deliberate attention, they begin to spread rumors, without really being aware of the origin of such an impulse. The power of thought transmission is a double-edged sword. It can be used for both positive and negative purposes. When we harbor negative thoughts and beliefs about others, we inadvertently contribute to the manifestation of those very qualities within them. On the other hand, when we consciously choose to hold positive and uplifting thoughts about others, we have the ability to positively influence their behavior and experiences. It is crucial to recognize the responsibility that comes with this understanding. Our thoughts and beliefs about others are not merely private musings, they have tangible effects on the world around us. By cultivating a mindset of love, compassion, and goodwill towards all beings, we can create ripples of positivity that extend far beyond our immediate circle of influence. Moreover, the concept of thought transmission highlights the interconnectedness of all things. We are not separate entities, isolated from one another, but rather part of a vast web of consciousness. Our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs are intricately woven into the fabric of reality, influencing and being influenced by the collective consciousness. This understanding can be empowering, as it reminds us of our innate ability to shape our reality through the power of our thoughts and beliefs. By aligning our inner world with the highest ideals and aspirations, we can actively participate in the creation of a more harmonious and loving world. However, it is important to approach this knowledge with wisdom and discernment. While we have the power to influence others through our thoughts, it is essential to respect their free will and autonomy. We must use this understanding to uplift and inspire, rather than to manipulate or control. Furthermore, the concept of thought transmission underscores the importance of self-reflection and inner work. By examining our own thoughts and beliefs, we can identify any limiting or negative patterns that may be inadvertently affecting others. Through conscious effort and self-awareness, we can transform these patterns and cultivate a more positive and empowering mindset. In addition to the personal implications, the understanding of thought transmission has profound implications for society as a whole. It highlights the need for greater compassion, understanding, and unity among all people. By recognizing the interconnectedness of our thoughts and experiences, we can foster a culture of empathy and cooperation, working together towards the common goal of creating a better world for all. The study of thought transmission also opens up new avenues for scientific exploration and understanding. As we continue to delve into the mysteries of consciousness and the nature of reality, we may uncover even more profound insights into the workings of the universe and our place within it. In conclusion, the ability to transmit ideas through the power of our feelings and the subconscious mind is a remarkable aspect of the human experience. By understanding the principles of frequency and vibration, we can harness this power to positively influence ourselves and others. Through conscious effort and self-reflection, we can cultivate a mindset of love, compassion, and goodwill, contributing to the creation of a more harmonious and loving world. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us remember the profound impact our thoughts and beliefs can have on the world around us. By aligning our inner world with the highest ideals and aspirations, we can become agents of positive change, inspiring others to do the same. Through the power of thought transmission, we have the ability to transform not only our own lives but the lives of countless others, creating ripples of positivity that extend far beyond our immediate circle of influence. So let us approach this understanding with wisdom, compassion, and a deep sense of responsibility. Let us use our thoughts and beliefs to uplift, inspire, and create a world that reflects the best of who we are and who we can become. 
Together, we can harness the power of thought transmission to create a brighter, more loving future for all.